you guys and make up your own mind because to be uh, um, to have knowledge right now is power we're moving into a different system and you know we changed this, the system changed in 1971 the system is changing again now right and I'm gonna um, show you some information on the CFT um, that we're going to be um, taking off crypto, hopefully taking out of Gary Hand, Gary Gensel's hands. Um, yeah, there's lots to discuss, but uh, or lots to show you really. Don't get play. Come on, come on. The third indispensable element in building the new prosperity is closely related to creating new jobs and halting inflation. We must protect the position of the American dollar as a pillar of monetary stability around the world. In the past seven years, there's been an average of one international monetary crisis every year. Now who gains from these crises? Not the working man, not the investor, not the real producers of wealth. The gainers? The are the international are the money international speculators. Money speculators. Because, they because they thrive on crises, they, on help, crises. To they help to create them. In recent weeks, the speculators have been waging an all-out war on the American dollar. The strength of a nation's currency is based on the strength of that nation's economy. And the American economy is by far the strongest in the world. Accordingly, I have directed the Secretary of the Treasury to take the action necessary to defend the dollar against the speculators. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve assets, except in amounts and conditions determined to be in the interest of monetary stability and in the best interest of the United States. Now, what is this action which is very technical. Is very technical. What, does it mean for you? what does it mean for you? Let me lay to, re lay to rest the bugaboo of, of what is called what is devaluation. devaluation. If you want to buy a foreign car or take a trip abroad, or take a trip abroad market, conditions market conditions may cause your dollar, cause your dollar to, buy slightly less. to buy slightly less. But if you are among the overwhelming majority of Americans who buy American-made products in America, your dollar will be worth dollar just as much tomorrow as, it is much today. tomorrow as it is today. The effect of this action, in other words, will be to stabilize, will be to stabilize the dollar. The dollar. Now this well, we know that didn't fucking happen, did it? Look what's happening now. Right, so let me show you um, something that I, WTF happened in 1971 when they changed the system. Living costs back in 1971 were a new house was 25200 Average income, 10622 per year. New car cost, 3560 Average rent was 150 per month. Tuition fees at Harvard was 2600 per year. Movie tickets, $1.50 each. Oh, shit. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Get rid of that. It always happens when you don't want it. Gasoline um, was 40, pence, uh, 40 cents per gallon. United States. Uh, states postage stamps were eight cents. I have no idea what they are now. Um, granulated sugar, 62 cents for five pounds. Vitamin D milk, one dollar and 70, 17 cents per gallon. Coffee, 90, 98 cents per pound. Bacon, 80 cents per pound. Eggs, 45 cents per dozen. Fresh ground hamburger meat, 62 cents per pound. Fresh uh, baked uh, bread is 25 cents per loaf and this was back in 1971 and it's not been that long since then since we moved away from the gold standard under these people and their story and they want to tell you their story and let's look at what their story shows you because they are showing you what the shit that they caused since they've been established Like the powers of B don't like me playing this stuff, does it? Mm, that's terrible. There's a lot of really interesting big questions that I think we have to face in the world. Helping answer some of those big questions, providing a platform for others to answer those big questions. This is now an open space for a lot of our constituents to truly drive forward their own actions. 
I'm passionate about serving a group of alternative thinkers who have not only dreamt up great ideas about how the world can be more fair, more inclusive, more just, more sustainable, but are actually proving it's possible. If you go back 50 years to the time when the Forum was conceived, the whole idea was to make the multi-stakeholder concept come alive. The world has become so interdependent that entrepreneurs everywhere in the world depend each on another. If you look at the history of the Forum, it's really been defining systems thinking. For example, the Gavi Vaccine Alliance. It took bringing all these great minds with resources together to say, what can we do about this? Today we're announcing that we'll spend over $10 billion over this next decade on vaccines. Trust really gives us our credibility. It's really the essential piece to ensuring that we can continue to do the work that we do. The Forum managed to convince Mandela and de Klerk to try to reintegrate South Africa post-apartheid. It has been my great privilege to fight a struggle for freedom that the world adopted. And the ability of the Forum to have good convening power, to bring all relevant actors to the table, and to be able to do it in a way that can impact entire countries or entire domestic systems. Lassen Sie uns in diesem Geiste gemeinsam für eine gerechte und dauerhafte Friedensordnung für ganz Europa arbeiten. Our job is to get people around the table to construct and create conversations that aren't being had. Why wouldn't we have a conversation about how we can reorient trade rules? Because that would have quite a powerful impact on the level of emissions and use of planetary resources. We must learn to look at the planet, not as just a spacecraft on which we are passengers. We must see the planet as what it really is, a living being. What climate change has done, it's monumental around the world. People moving from where their families have lived for centuries because they can no longer afford to feed themselves. Putting people in faraway places and pretending that they don't exist, that is not ethical, it's not sustainable, and it's not conducive for human growth. There's a much more concentrated effort to make sure that we're bringing in the voices of the next generation of business leaders, societal leaders, government leaders. We need to not underestimate the power that this youth has. Private sector and businesses, industry overall, has a huge role to play. It's not just the business itself, it's also related. Well, I'm going to stop this because I'm annoyed. And I'll tell you why I'm annoyed. They've been around 50 fucking years, yeah? And what have we had since they've been around in the last 50 years? Nothing but war, poverty, uh, um, vaccines that people don't need, uh, um, a mandate that has been literally to destroy and take out the bottom and uh, uh, carve out the middle class and have a two-tier system, you know, where a system is a top and a bottom. This video is bullshit because that's not what Klaus Schwab actually came up with uh, when he said, you'll be happy and, and, and have nothing. What is that? This video does not reflect what they want to do. They've had 50 years, 50 years from what he said, of doing stuff and they haven't done fuck all. They may have done something, but not that much. Let's face it, let's be fair, let's be honest. Anyway, my rant over, wake up. No, 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 I'm not going to stop ranting. People need to wake up to this. People need to wake up to the change that is taking place right now and move away from the lies because right now the, the system is the, the, the crypto system is being hollowed out and there's a reason for that it's because you're going to have good companies coming out of the bad you're going to have so many good companies come forward uh, and we need this this happened when um, amazon was in in play um, when they first came out ebay paypal all those other companies uh, um, there were so many other companies around them um, Netscape and all those other ones, Livewire, I forget the other ones that are around because they, were, uh, um, they weren't really worth mentioning, but they uh, uh, um, failed. And what we saw was the Amazons, the Googles, uh, and the, Net, the Netflixes, if you will, um, the streaming services. Um, I think even Blockbuster went under at one point. So, um, you know, but we had innovation, and this is exactly what we're going through now. Uh, um, the thing is, people need to be uh, uh, um, aware that Bitcoin has had, has been given clarity um, by the uh, by the powers that be, and I think that's this is a global consensus that Bitcoin is 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 okay. 
um, Ethereum is still a bit mixed at the moment because it's going through a trans transition. I did a video about that yesterday. But at the end of the day, people need to wake up, just wake up to see what's going on. Uh, um, let, me, let me go to... Um, Unfortunately, bit for next may be facing um, investigation in the U.S. The exchange system company has been hit with several inve investigations over who uses its platform and the state of its reserves. I believe they're linked to Tether, and I've been hearing stuff about Tether. Um, Tether uh, may have to have some kind of inquiry and all that kind of stuff. They, the, the coins may not be backed by the dollar and all that rubbish. So that could be the catalyst, but if it is, it is what it is. It's going to clear the market out and give people a much better look at what's going to take place. And for, like I said, the good companies are going to be the ones that come through, not the bad. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description for this. But this one here is extremely, extremely important. And I think people need to hear this. Um, the CFTT chairman uh, no, uh, claims the agency is ready for possibility of regulating crypto. Now that's brilliant news. I know it came out three days ago, but it's brilliant news. As the cryptocurrency sector continues to grow, thanks to increasing interest of the general public, regulatory agencies are trying to include the new asset class in their operations. One of these agencies, the United States Commodity uh, Futures Trading uh, Commission, CFTC, F no, CFTC, right, whose chairman, Ross Dinber Benham, commented on the possibility of CFT taking on crypto regulations in the future, stating that it was fully prepared for it. South Dakota Public uh, public Broadcasting, SDPD, radio reported on the 10th of August. I know it's a few days, like I said, but Burnham made the, these remarks at a joint meeting in the South Dakota uh, Core Neutralization Council and, and South, South Dakota Core Growers okay, Association on August 9th organized at the okay, <sighs> placing crypto regulations in CFTC's hands. Right now, I'm going to put a link in the description, you guys can go read it for yourselves if you wish. And I think that is it for me today. Um, I will leave a link to this one as well, um, because it's got quite a lot of information, it um, charts, figures, and all that kind of stuff. and um, inflation, what happened, and you know, uh, growth um, in productivity and hourly co uh, conversation since 1948. Um, this is just after the war, I believe. So, yeah, and yeah, I, I'll, I'll say this as well after the war, what came? Another uh, um, system. You had a system up before the war, that went out, and you've got a system after the war. So, God knows what's going to happen with Ukraine and Russia and all that kind of stuff that's going on over there. You know, we could have a new system come out of that, but I do know we're going into a digital economy, whether you like it or, or whether I like it or not. I do not like the idea of CBDCs, and that's that's the danger. The CBDCs, the, the, the ones for the retail customers, we don't want that. We want ones, we want the crypto that's out now that and which will have regulation, um, like the XRPs, the XLNs. Uh, and, and those people who were in those kind of like tokens, the H bars of the world, the IOTA, the IOTA, the IOTA, the ADAs, um, those t cryptos with use case are going to be the ones that people need to be getting now, not financial advice. I'm not giving financial advice here. But what I'm saying is look at what's transpiring. Uh, um, if you go back to, to uh, previous times in history, what happened then? New technologies, new innovations started coming out now we're having new money we had the internet of things now we have the internet of value coming so wake up to that, uh, that uh, possibility don't sleep on this guys um, how can I put this generational wealth will be made now for those who, who, who were fearful not financial advice but I'm, I'm getting back in uh, in 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 a small way, you know, dollar cost averaging on, on the cryptos that I mentioned, XRP, XLM, XDC, IOTA, HBAR, um, you know, those are the types of uh, 